Right, what is going on guys Spivel is back again coming at you with a tutorial video on Don Machi now with JP anniversary going on right now a lot of events are going on a lot of new people are getting into the game and a lot of good deals are going on so I'm gonna quickly go over this stuff and I'm gonna try to keep it with as little editing as possible um, if you guys want to skip ahead to certain stuff I'm gonna try to go in order all these menus down here at the bottom I'm gonna go in order I try to explain everything how to like the dupe system I'm gonna try to do my best to uh, make this an all-encompass guide as like a one size fits all uh, this is gonna be geared towards new players I'm gonna try to keep my references to other games to a minimum and uh, let's just get into it so first off obviously your rank is gonna be your player level uh, as you can see that little bar is how close you are to leveling up every time you level up you gain a stamina so if your stamina feels like you have like very little just the uh, progress in story story is probably like the best way to get it xp now iris your iris is separated into paid and free iris paid is obviously iris that you pay for like buying these little packs now sir's daily lunchbox is probably the best value if you decide to go uh, pay to play and i'll go over uh, more paid iris type stuff uh, later on now your friends system you have your follows uh, your followers now your followers you don't necessarily have to be friends with people to follow them which is pretty cool so if you see like the strongest people in the game you can at the very least follow them and then make use of their uh, character without you having to worry about them following you back so I, I think that that's a pretty good system I personally don't really use the friend system as much as I probably should uh, let's go into the settings uh, news uh, standard <laughs> it's, it's your news now your inventory is gonna be quite interesting because it gets separated into your consumables um, for the most part, this will be your, uh, the Exilia books are meant for leveling up your XP. The potato snacks are to re refill your stamina. When you run out of stamina, when you try to activate a mission, it'll ask you if you want to use uh, one of these food items for stamina. Um, these advanced tickets, I'll go into that in a bit. Uh, Falna, XP, and Valis. Now, in the beginning of the game, you're going to run out of these relatively easily because you're going to actually try to make use of them as much as you can but which is pretty cool is over time you get so much of this crap that you don't normally have to worry about it these challenge orbs bro i wish that they had this in the beginning of the game this thing would have probably saved me so much uh so much hassle and so much daily play uh, a replica of the hero charm granted once a week now you get this every oh granted once a week on tuesday cannot own more than one now what this does is it enhances your opportunity to uh get hero fauna from the fauna events uh, i'll go over that uh later so just put this in the back of your mind for now uh the prison bonds star bonds i'm actually holding on to those uh we're, we're gonna get into how to farm not farm but how to obtain them uh, effectively a uh, gold bond we're gonna go over that later and uh, the dungeon sandwich the rose and the book of knowledge uh, are used to increase your cp we'll go over that in a bit as well so let's go back into the settings story digest profile profiles where you're going to be able to change your uh your name because originally you're going to have your default number id like you're in auschwitz or some shit so changing your hero um you don't necessarily have to go here like for example it's just going to change your character in the beginning um you can change it on the fly just by using the middle id I'm, 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 I'm sorry that I'm, I'm going over this useless shit that you're most likely not going to be going over. But like I said, I want to keep this as uh, all encompassed as possible. Import is pretty much for uh, changing your device and stuff like that. I believe that this game requires you to re-download the entire game to log into another thing. Uh, the TOS so that you don't get Malaysian orbs, you know what I'm saying? Now, the gifts. So this is your present box um, every day. You should be getting quite a lot of stuff, or at least during this time. Um, here is your sir's daily lunchbox. Like I said, I like I purchase this every month personally, uh, but then again, I am pay to play. Now, for example, you can actually change your character. Now, for example, here it says on the top, it says next update 20 PST. Now you can talk to 18 people every reset. And what it does is when you talk to them, they gain CP value. Now when they level up, oh, perfect example. You actually get some bonuses to the, and sometimes you'll even get a uh, free iris, which is actually pretty cool. Sometimes if you're low on iris and you really want to like get that stuff, what you can do is go to the shop and purchase like this from the Saris Dulb Exchange. You can get like dungeon sandwiches, book of knowledge, and I'll go over that in a bit. But I do want to go over the inventory quite a bit more. Uh, now I went over the consumables. Now the fauna, for example, the fauna will pretty much tell you everything that you have. As you can see, I have like 51 hero fauna. I originally had so few of these like as a new player you're gonna run out of them very easily uh 
the easiest way to get them as a new player is simply by just doing the story like there's a lot of missions that just straight up give you hero fauna you also have that consumable that actually gives you a key and that will unlock a higher rates for hero fauna during the fauna quest which like i said i'll go over that in a bit so special items these are items that you can pretty much trade in for certain weapons and stuff like that oh perfect thing here we go so flame amulet and hero medals now you can trade three of these in for a guaranteed bond of an adventure or an assist now if you remember i said I'll teach you guys how to farm that in a bit. Now these are obtained by the bi-monthly events, so keep that in mind because that's going to be very useful. I highly recommend that you go through the entire event just because missing one of these can be crucial because the dupe system in this game is incredibly powerful, which we'll go over in a bit. Now bonds, which is pretty cool in this game, you can actually trade your useless dupes. So for example, I'm not going to use these characters and I'll actually get... As you can see here, like it's going to like 983 and we're going to, I'll use those materials in a bit. We'll go over, like just keep that in the back of your mind. Uh, bronze ore, you don't really have to worry about this menu too much. As you can see, I have like 108 buster medals, uh, moonbow gems. This is just your basic, oh, here's all your items that you've collected. <laughs> all right. So as you can see around the world, you can see like the shops in the background. Honestly, all these shops in the background that you see are right here at the bottom of the screen anyway. So you don't really have to necessarily worry about that. So let's go over the character menu. Now you go over your party, you have five slots at the moment um, of the recording of this video. I don't know if they're going to increase that, I don't know if there's any other way to increase it currently. But you pretty much want to build your entire team. Keep in mind that some story missions require to have certain characters in the party. Now as a newer player, you're going to want to have like Belle, Lafia, and Ice in the party simply because when you're doing your story missions, a lot of the quests are going to require them to be in your party just so that you can get the final challenge completed. Uh, status board. Pretty much, <laughs> status board is pretty much the in entire point of the game along with your level upgrade. So as you can see here, my Otarl is level 80 with the uh, max limit break board. Now the limit break board and the, um, well, you know, I'm going to have to actually go to a lower level character, a uh, perfect example. And you'll see that this is just a regular five star status board. Now the limit break board takes into effect once you get them to six star, you're going to have to limit break them. And to limit break, you're going to need uh, one duplicate to limit break the first time, which will add four levels to their max level. And when you get five dupes, you can max limit break the character, but you still have to do it one by one by one. So for example, my Amid, um, even though she's a base three star, she can go completely max limit broken if you get all the dupes and every single character in this game can go to six star which is pretty uh, pretty damn good honestly it makes them actually usable uh keep in mind that base four stars usually have much higher base stats which is important to take note so don't think oh i don't need to pull any five, uh, four star characters because my three stars can do it no 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 for adventurers you're gonna definitely want a good basis for a team and i'll go over that in a bit so a mid, for example, has poison resist plus 75%, but you'll notice all the way down at the bottom of this entire board, there's a C skill. Now that will unlock another skill, but I'm going to have to limit break her another three times just to unlock that. So if I can go to my Freya, for example, as you saw, her skill pretty much said um, plus 75% resistance. Now this C skill will actually usually unlock the 100% ailment resistance for whatever the ailment is. So as you can see here, ally sleep resist plus 100% uh, simply because she's max limit broken. That's that's why. So you'll see queen's nightgown plus plus. Uh, usually it's uh, queen's nightgown and then when you get to six star, it goes to queen's nightgown plus and then when you max limit breaker go further beyond super saiyan god you get plus plus all right so level enhance is pretty standard uh if you remember correctly i was talking about the books are for xp uh this is pretty much where you use them keep in mind that leveling up a character with the status board or the level enhance costs a lot of gold guys it uh, <laughs> i can't stress that enough so you're gonna need to farm gold every now and then um me personally i don't really farm as much just because i have a good uh party basis already like i don't feel the necessary need to level up characters so quickly or to like limit break them or max limit break them very often anymore just because usually you want to get like a really good standard party and if you can get them to be as strong as possible then you work on that but uh, so pretty much my team is as good as i can get it uh, keep in mind that this bell um I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the free to play bell yeah this bell is garbage so 
the only reason he's like even one limit broken is simply because the game has a quest for it. <laughs> and I actually still do the Bell storyline for Iris because I still haven't even beaten it. Now the characters list will pretty much show you all your CP. Uh, keep in mind that here you can actually offer them a present. Oh, perfect. So my Chloe Lolo, say I use 30 dungeon sandwiches. Uh, her level is going to go up from level 10 to what level are you going to give me? Level 10 to 17. And you'll see that I got 5, 10, tw I got 20 Iris and 1 Hero Falna. Also keep in mind that all the bonuses that you get in terms of agility plus 4, MP plus 3, any stats, they actually stack. Okay guys, they stack between all characters. So if you get her to level 20 for Bell, level 20 for Ice, level 20 for Lafia, all those stats that you get for upgrading her CP stacks onto the actual character's base stats. And that's important because whenever you get a new Chloe, whenever you get a new Ice, all those bonuses get added to all the Ice, all the Chloe Lolos, all the Hestias, all the Gokus, all the Vegetas, you know what I'm saying? So it just adds up. Uh, so leveling up a character's CP level is definitely very important. And the character and the album over here is simply just to show you all the four stars that you're missing. <laughs> That's the easiest way I can say it. But uh, yeah, if you want to see any specific characters, you can actually also see the max limit broken. You can see like strength for foes minus 20%, whereas straight up here is bouncing blessing plus is strength minus 15%. Uh, keep in mind that you don't have to get them six star for the bouncing blessing, for, like for the plus at the end of the assist skill. Now keep in mind that I did say for the plus you need to get them to 6 star. That's not necessarily true. You only really need to max their status board at 5 star. But ideally if you're working on a character you're going to want to get them to 6 star for sure. At the very least if you don't have any, especially if you don't have any dupes, you definitely want to get them as strong as possible. Now keep in mind that an assist will give their entire stats table to whoever they're equipped to. So for example her base attack right now is 590 at plus 5. And my Otarl is plus, uh, is 1497. So 1497 plus 590 is, wait for it, there you go. Strength 2087, agility 1275. Agility is incredibly important uh, for PvP, uh, just so that you get the first, uh, the first couple hits in and whatnot. So uh, yeah, so that's enough for the characters list, and we'll go. I'll go over the team comps later on. Now, as you can see here, the interact, pretty much when you level up a character CP, which I recommend that you guys, when you're working on CP, prioritize the characters that you actually use. So if you pull a four star and you're actually using that four star, for example, my ice I use, my Hestia I use, um, you know, let me go to my, so I'm going to go to my bell because my interact CP levels are a lot higher. So you're going to want to level up your CP uh, for the characters here in this interact list. Now I highly suggest that you work mainly on the characters that you use. So for example, as I scroll through this list, you'll notice that Otarl isn't here, but my CP level with him is like 25 because I have him at plus 5, so I want him to be as strong as possible because their stats do get increased. But the characters here such as Ice, you'll see like Lilaruka is level 7, you'll see that Hesti is level 20. Loki's 13, Lafia's 21, and Freya's at 23. Now these characters I actually use, and since they're here, they actually unlock story and you actually unlock quests as well. Now this is actually incredibly important because as you can see here, like even like I actually have Iris to be a to like actually get from this Freya, which is pretty cool. So you can actually farm more Iris over here in this uh, story quest mission. Um, the voice is kind of, eh, like, just hear her talk, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, oh my, what an unusual customer, so you see her outfits, you can, like, change their outfits, so, um, me personally, I just use the nightgown, because I actually like the art on that card a lot. So, you can make her a favorite, uh, I don't, I don't necessarily know what favorites does yet, I don't think I really care to find out. Now, daily missions... You can actually farm 10 Iris every single day. Um, keep in mind that there's usually Rampage or Record Buster, so you can uh, farm like Rampage, Record Buster, or War Games. I highly recommend that you do all three if you can. 
um, even if you're like a newer player I still say you want to like dip your feet in go go as far as you can you know what I'm saying a uh, record buster uh, even as a new player you might as well just do it at the very least just for the 10 iris you know what I'm saying uh, you get a four star ticket every single 30 login days which is excellent uh, you get iris just for ranking up you get iris for leveling up CP levels so like the daily missions as you can see here I did most of them so I just need to talk to one more character come here fatty there you go all right all right stop talking to me <laughs> now you just literally pick it up and then that's it and then you just get a bunch of iris and as you can see here some of them like had several parts that I need to, that I cleared and as you can see here I like I okay all right I'm, I'm not I'm, I'm done with that <laughs> now blacksmith uh, you can purchase weapons uh, keep in mind that after a while your weapons do get damaged so you're gonna want to come here and repair um, it doesn't necessarily cost much unless you leave it to the end so as you can see here it costs like 4,000 um, the breastplate 798 out of 828 durability uh, when that goes down guys sometimes this stuff can get very expensive and when they break they don't give any stats at all so it's gonna be a little harder to do certain events if you're already having trouble with them uh, crafting is quite expensive alright now crafting is quite expensive so the weapons for example new weapon unlock grand axe hunter bow vanishment bow now this all stems from from new events you'll unlock these new uh, these new craftables so for example this weapon is for Gareth so Gareth will get 100% of the stats when this weapon is crafted now keep in mind that if this is equipped onto a character other than Gareth you will only get 70% of the stats so for example uh, this Urga even though it says physical attack not 190 out of 230 and the wear bonus is for Tiona so actually for my my Otarl at the moment this is the best weapon that I should be using just because Otarl doesn't make use of all the stats from the Urga I was actually quite upset when I found out about it because I worked so hard to get a really powerful Urga and yeah it just doesn't work on my Otarl which kinda sucks uh, keep in mind that these um, these items to craft are actually quite expensive and sometimes you don't even get a good roll now these are simply just for like now these glorious anklets are mainly just for status ailments but uh, if you if you end up getting bad stats on them it's it's kind of GG like it really does kind of suck to be honest but uh, we actually got a pretty good roll there we got like a hundred defense which is good and uh, I'm not gonna equip it onto anybody just yet just cuz I wanna just move on uh, change equipment obviously pretty standard you can change your equipment just click on the character and then equip whatever so you'll notice uh, the physical attack is 171 and Urga is 221 so let me see how do I do this uh, okay so I'll, I'll go to equip and you'll notice that my physical attack actually dropped um, and that is exactly what I said before due to the fact that this Urga is specifically meant for uh, Tiona alright so equipment list pretty much just go over all your stuff I almost never want to go in there just because I have so much garbage now let's get into the gacha now keep in mind that these summons are usually done in two ways uh, keep in mind that during this anniversary rates are doubled usually the rates are three percent okay uh, three percent sounds pretty bad honestly but the benefits of this game like I said the three stars are actually usable or at least the assists and this can, this game actually has guaranteed banners which is nice so like the first multi here you're guaranteed a banner the fourth multi you're guaranteed a banner the seventh and tenth multi you're guaranteed a banner which is pretty cool uh, keep in mind that the other format is a step up summons and the way that it works is the first multi is 200 and then it every subsequent multi costs 50 iris to perform and the and when the step ups ends with uh, 400 iris you're guaranteed a banner so the first multi is 200 second is 250 then 300 then 350 then when you reach the 400 the 400 is a guaranteed banner and then it resets back to the discounted multis down to 200 and then subsequently plus 50 each time so uh, it's it's pre it's still pretty nice it's definitely better than um, 
most other gacha games especially that i've played personally so this familiar chronicle i still do like the paid iris you can actually do your daily uh, discounted summons for like if you have paid iris um as you can see here i got a three star so another thing i like about this game it's very pay to play friendly which is nice so when you actually spend money on the game you get paid iris and you can actually use the paid iris for uh these guaranteed multis where as you can see here gotcha rate up you're pretty much guaranteed one new four star so when i summon on this banner the guaranteed new four star i'm pretty sure is uh yeah there you go bell cranal or hestia so since it is it is a guaranteed as you can see here paid 11 draw gotcha adventure plus 100 percent so i'm I'm like 95% sure that you're guaranteed to pull Bell if you summon on this banner with the paid iris. Uh, keep in mind that tickets also have a 3% pull rate. So a 2-star ticket and a 3-star ticket, the rate of pulling a 4-star character is the same, guys. And that is actually quite important because when you go here to the Sirius Double Exchange, which, uh, you know what, we're, we're, we're almost there. We're almost there. Let's uh, let's actually go into the shop now. Now, purchase Iris is very standard. Um, you can purchase Iris from there, or you can get to the screen from up there. Item shop, the anniversary memorial box. Every now and then for the very strong um, events that they do, the last one was Journey into Kino or something like that. Now, Kino's Journey into Legend of Journeyness or something you get this memorial box and this memorial box is actually incredibly powerful i can't really i'm gonna quickly go over what exactly comes into this box all right so going over the memorial box keep in mind that there's going to be another enhancement bundle for paid iris so what this is is for 1200 iris you get a one four star adventure one four star assist exchange ticket now what that means is you can actually trade that ticket in for literally any fucking character you want so what that means is you can literally trade this ticket in for anyone you want which uh, i'll actually show you that in a second now the anniversary four star guaranteed 11 draw ticket you're guaranteed to get a banner character uh, from the new banner keep in mind there's six characters and the other one is a four star guaranteed 11 draw ticket which means you're guaranteed uh two multis a uh, premium multis with four star guaranteed at the end now, when I go to the shop, as you can see here, the special exchange, you can actually trade in your materials. Uh, that's from items, equipment exchange from items. Falna exchange, you can actually turn your small Falna into medium Falna, into large Falna if you so wish. A hero flame metal exchange, we already went over this. Uh, you get them from events. And pretty much what you do is you turn them in for uh, prism bonds. And, and what a prism bond is, to put it in simple terms, is one duplicate of any non time limited character all right a gold bond is for three stars a prison bond is for four stars and i can't quite remember what the bond is for the time limited characters but there is one for time limited now the four star adventure exchange as you can see here i can actually like click on whatever character i want now a lot of characters get added to the premium summons and they all end up here which is pretty cool so if i want to get a duplicate of a specific character i want i can like click here and i'll get the bond for it or i can click like honor princess ice and then actually get the main character uh, honor succession bell is actually one of the beasts in this banner so like he might not be a bad idea to choose uh, the assist exchange you can actually, like I said, click, like quickly go over whatever you want. Now, my recommendation for the assist. Uh, personally, I like the Sly Cat Chloe just because uh, she makes your team invulnerable for a turn. Or Minstrel Elf Ina, which makes you invulnerable for a turn, but for magic attacks instead of the physical that Sly Cat Chloe does. All right, so let's uh, move on. All right, so let's go over the Sarah's Dub Exchange. Now, as you can see at the top, Prism Bond Adventure 100 Dubs. Uh, dubs are the black ones. Uh, Sarah's are the white ones. Now, keep in mind that a prison bond can be used on any character as a duplicate and or you can actually go for a four star guaranteed ticket and try to get something new. Uh, personally, I just get the four star guaranteed tickets, but if you desperately want to get like a character plus five and you have her up, have her or him at plus four, you can actually just straight up go for like the prison bonds. Uh, keep in mind that you get 10 for every four star you return. Uh, for every four star bond you return you can't trade in actual characters so if you get a useless character uh feels bad man if you get a dupe of that useless character you can actually trade in their bonds specifically just so that you can either trade it in for a guaranteed ticket 
uh, the adventure to get our assist ticket. Keep in mind that the assists are a lot rare in this game to obtain. So as such, they also made it a lot rare to turn in for a guaranteed bond of your choice. A uh, hero fauna eventually like this is not a bad idea for early on you can sell like your garbage characters that you don't want personally i would suggest going for the two star tickets and three star tickets early uh trade in your two star and three star adventure characters that are garbage uh, most of them are trash to be honest and i'll be going over the events very soon uh dungeon sandwich book of knowledge single flower for uh cp and fauna xp and uh valis should you actually need that like i said what's good about this game is you eventually get this stuff you, you eventually get so much of this stuff it's not even funny um the events uh after an event runs out as you can see here like the event uh went away uh, i think yesterday but like you can still actually like go through the gotcha and stuff like that that way you don't completely miss out uh, you have like a week after the event ends to actually trade in everything like even this is still up feels bad i i <laughs> I was so mad. I was literally farming this like the last day and I I missed my I missed my chance. That was my fault. All right, so arena Now for right now we have record buster. Uh, we have war games monster philia monster philia is actually quite uh, Difficult so don't feel bad about not being able to clear like gate three or something like that It does get difficult very very quickly now record buster Don't go in expecting to beat the boss because you can't like the boss literally has infinite HP the, what you want to do here is deal as much damage and survive as long as you can. Uh, you can actually go in through the popular characters and see what other people are using. You can actually go over here and see like the rank reward, see what you get if you place in a certain rank. So my global ranking is 654 and my group ranking is 13. So over here, if I go to ranking, as you can see here, uh, rank 654 would award me 600 iris, which is pretty much a multi and a half at full price which is nice my group reward since i'm rank 13 is four hero fauna 10 of those uh buster medals and then five of the cp rewards which a uh, four hero fauna might not sound like a lot in the beginning of the game but eventually you like i said you eventually get a lot of hero fauna which is nice so unless you're a whale you shouldn't really have to worry about really running out uh, later on in the game you know what i'm saying all right now keep in mind i also want to make note of this uh, shout out to Andy because I completely forgot about this, but your main source of free-to-play iris income will come from PvP of sort. Now, Record Buster is PvE, but it ranks how much damage you deal, and War Game will rank how much, uh, how strong your stuff is. Shout out to the homie who got banned. Shout out to another person who got banned. Yo, y'all, y'all, y'all the truth, man. The banned. Yeah, um, needless to say... Don't mod. <laughs> That's fucked ass. I'm, I'm like laughing because just like, like part of me knows that even though they modded, I'm 90% sure that they put in a lot of work on their team. Look at this shit. Damn, boy, get fucked. Damn, yo, that's, that's rough. Anyways, as you can see here, uh, just getting to hero three, I was able to get 325 Iris. And then the rank up prize, just for getting there, you get a total of like a bunch of virus down here. You get a hero fauna. And it's not too difficult to get up here, um, getting the characters and stuff like that. Once you get a like a full team of plus fives or something like that. That's why I said you ideally want to just get like one really powerful team instead of going for every single character you want. Uh, I, I don't have a problem with the people that decide to play the game in uh, the way of collection. But uh, if you really, really, really want to progress in this game, I highly recommend that you go straight up for trying to make your characters as strong as possible as opposed to getting every character all right so let's go into the quest campaign where everything should go down now in the beginning there is the bell and then you unlock ice then you unlock lafia and ryu actually just came out which is pretty cool so as you can see i haven't even like i haven't even like started her so bell for example as you can see i farmed quite a lot of bell so i pretty much farmed out the iris for this character for the most part. Uh, Ice, I still haven't really worked too much. I probably should. I'll get into that later on. And then let's go into boost. Now, Fauna is for to unlock your status board. All right, so for the hero Fauna, as you can see here at the bottom left, you can see the usable charms. Uh, the gold key, um, honestly, I don't even know how to obtain those, but the hero charm replica increases the odds of receiving hero Fauna for 30 minutes. 
charm will be distributed every Tuesday. So here's where you use it. You literally just use it and then you just farm whatever you want. Uh, I highly recommend that you do the very hard stage just for the large farm font. Just for the large hero fauna as well as the medium hero fauna. The medium you can turn into larges. And if you really need to farm smalls or mediums, then just do the hard version. Because you can turn the small into medium and all that. And Exilia is to is to farm books of XP to level up. And Val's quest is to farm gold. You're going to want to do this on very hard, usually. Uh, same thing with the fauna and the Exilia. Uh, Ana's guidance, uh, these are really easy to do, which is fine. Honestly... I recommend as a newer player to just immediately go and do this. So as you can see here, you can actually farm this. I personally farm on hard. I will eventually go to do very hard and try to clear it with an S rank just so I can get more iris out of the account. But every day you'll unlock a usable orb. Uh, as you play the game you'll eventually unlock more. I just don't want to waste that I could wait a day. Actually I don't even need to, I already have it unlocked. I already finished this quest, which is fine. Uh, as you can see here, the point of this is high difficulty event now, chance to earn the bond for Ryu. Keep in mind that when you farm this event, normal awards you a certain amount, hard awards you double the original, and then very hard awards you double of the hard. So if you're farming normal for 10 and you're having trouble doing hard, hard gives only 20. So if you can farm normal in twice the speed that you could farm hard, you're better off just doing hard. For very hard, I feel like you only really do that just to get the iris for the initial clear, and then you'll just go back to hard or normal to mass farm, you know what I'm saying? So I'll go to exchange, I'll pick up my bond, and this is actually a summonable character bond too, which is cool. Uh, obviously, they don't give you the actual character, but if you do pull the character, which... Uh, so at the moment, the, he does have a paid hours banner. Um, most of these units with high difficulty event now are usually actually paid summons. They're not the garbage that you usually get. So when you come to this, um, when you come to events, I highly suggest, guys, that you finish the events as fast as possible before you resume farming. And the reason for that is a lot of these events come with tickets. Uh, a lot of these events usually have a character to farm. Uh, keep in mind, guys, that when you turn in um, these event items acquired, sometimes you'll see these tickets. Uh, the tickets are sometimes better than the characters that they give. Um, most events usually give a three-star character base. If it's an assist, I suggest you farm all five bonds. If it's an adventure, unless they are a very good adventure and you're going to have to like ask around the community and see if they're worth farming, most adventures are pretty trashy compared to base four stars. So just keep that in mind. But um, overall, I hope that I went over the uh, the majority of this game. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comments below. I'll be looking at every single one of the comments in this video, and I hope that uh, I hope that I was able to answer any questions that you guys have. I know it's a long ass video. Shout out to to you guys, man. Uh, if you actually stayed and listened to the whole thing, uh, hopefully I didn't lose you. Too, too much because it's kind of like listening to a wall of text at this point <laughs> you know what I'm saying um, if someone would be so kind to do timestamps I'll pin in that comment gladly and um, yeah I guess I'll leave it at that you know there is guys grind on catch me up hit me up stay blessed like comment and subscribe if you're new and yeah I know this this game has a lot of fan service but I mean like come on man like like, are are y'all are y'all really complaining though? Are y'all really, y'all really complaining though? And for you ladies, y'all y'all really complaining though? Like, nah, 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 nah. Anyways, stay blessed, y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.